how to make change and it's not a black thing it's not a white thing because just a minute white people will help you as black people if you do right by people if you do right by people you can get just a minute white people to help you as you can black people but you gotta be right if you ain't right and you trying to do it dirty Probably nobody won't help you if they got any sense. Because if I see you coming at me crooked and you ain't right, I'm going to get away from you. Because I know you're going to cause some trouble somewhere. If you do wrong by me, you're going to do wrong by the next people. There was a lot of people in the fight, in the struggle for justice and freedom. In the 60s, in the 50s, in the 40s, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, and even in 2000. There have been white people and black people joined together in fellowship to try to make change. But we have had people on both sides that always find fault in something that somebody's doing when they're trying to make change. I have white friends and I have black friends. I had good white friends and I got good black friends. I got bad white friends and I got bad black friends. So it exists. This do exist. This is where we live. This is what we do. But reasoning together and working out the situation and working together, that's where we can work things out. But we got to be right. If I'm not right, then how would I expect for you to treat me right if I'm not right? Come correct. That's why I believe in telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And that's why some topics and some issues I do not bother because I know I'm going to take it to the limit. I'm going to take it to the extreme. I'm going to take it there. So there's a lot of things that I would not bother. But I know we got just as many good people on one side of the track and we do on the other side of the track. In this struggle, in this fight for the King holiday for Dr. King, you had white and black people working together to get this accomplished. And some things, even right now to this very day, you got blacks against blacks, you got whites against white, you got people work against each other. We got so much modern technology, we could do so much together if we try to work together, we could accomplish so much more if we stop fighting against one another. So you ask me why I don't touch some things? Because if I touch them, this is how I touch them, with the realness. And a lot of people can't stand the realness. If we get ready to celebrate the King holiday, some of us, would disrespect the holiday. Some of us, some black people would disrespect what it's all about. We shouldn't, but some of us will. So once again, you ask me why I don't touch something? Because when I touch it, I will not play with it. If we celebrate the King holiday, do we supposed to go out there and get drunk and start shooting and start cutting the food, start showing up, start partying, start cussing, start dancing half naked? Is that what it's all about? No. But since we got the day off, that's what we're going to do. But I don't have the day off. I got to work on the holiday. <laughs> I got the day off instead. I'm blessed. Truth is what it is. And I thank God for everybody that's in this fight, in this struggle to try to make things right and try to bring peace, social justice, and work out the situation that we are still in, in different places. And you ask me why I don't do certain things, why I don't talk about certain things, why I don't touch certain things. Because I know what they consist of. Hatred, foolishness, misunderstanding, disrespect, misguidance, being misunderstood, being misled, mischief of people doing stuff for selfish gain. For different reasons, people do different things. Y'all keep me in prayer. Anybody praying for me? I pray that you do. I'm getting ready to go to Pastor Turner right about now. Thank God for everybody that's listening on this morning uh, to WDMG 97.9. Um, thank God for Pastor uh, Reverend Thomas Joy talking with me on today. Uh, for every phone call that I receive, I thank God for that. But one thing that I do know, people, is that we live and to live again. And a lot of times, things that we know and don't address and don't say nothing about or don't do nothing for it, there, there's people right now that's living in our community, in our neighborhood. They're just struggling all out of this way. But we passing them back because we got us a little money. We going on about our business. I'm not that guy. If I can help you, I will. But a dream from the play me. I got kinfolk. I got family going to try me. Ron said, you crazy. I, I ain't no way. I said, I work too hard for my money. I said, you, finna, you think I'm going to run up and down the road to Augusta every day, tired, riding in this big old truck, I'm going to run up and down the road, and you're going to find a way how to beat me out some money. You must be on lost your mind. Y'all pray for me. WDMG 97.9 on a Sunday morning <laughs> with nobody but rolling. That's how it is. I say, uh, what you say, cousin VA? It is what it is.